Yo, YBH. Shalom Israel. What's up YouTube? It's Adonaya720 back with another one. Today we're doing Deuteronomy 13 Torah Law Edition. Let's get it. Verse 1. Be careful to observe only that which I enjoin upon you. Neither add to it nor take away from it. If there appears among you a prophet or a dream diviner who gives you a sign or a portent, saying, Let us follow and worship other gods whom ye have not experienced, even if the sign or portent name to you comes true. Think about it, y'all. It's a lot of false prophets that do a whole bunch of signs and wonders. Some of the stuff comes true, some of it don't. But I got a quick snippet right here to show you how a false prophet moves. All of it is based on the Bible. The Bible belongs to me. It's my book. And I'm the only one that has prevailed to take the book and loose the seals there. That makes me the Lamb of Yahweh. I'm the Lamb of God, Yahweh. As you can see in a little snippet, you seen the false prophet Hula and Mitchell expound on signs and wonders. So let's keep it moving. Do not heed the words of that prophet or that dream diviner. For your Elohim Yudewahi is testing you to see whether you love your Elohim Yudewahi with all your heart and soul. It is your Elohim Yudewahi alone whom you shall follow, whom you shall revere, whose commandments you should observe, whose orders you should heed, whom you should worship, and to whom you should hold fast. As for that prophet or dream diviner, such as a one shall be put to death for having urged disloyalty to your Elohim Yudewahi, who freed you from the land of Egypt and who redeemed you from the house of bondage, to make you stray from the path that your Elohim Yudewahi commanded you to follow. Thus you, thus, you will sweep out evil from out your midst. I got another video that's going to explain some more about the false prophets talked about in Deuteronomy 13. And they didn't let you know I'm his son. Although everything you study about is about me. Everything you study is about me. I'm going to make all that clear to you in a minute or two. In the meantime, the Ancient of Days has hair like wool. Nappy hair. And he's not a spirit. No spirit has woolly hair. Better clear that up right there. Spirits don't have woolly hair. So the Ancient of Days has hair like wool. You don't know what that is, go get a sheep. Go get some sheep. And it's like your hair, you know. Like my beard. Now that's the creator. Now let's go look at Revelations 1, 13 through 15 and look at the son, his son. Let's look at a description of Yahweh's son. If I'm his son, I fit this description to the letter. <coughs> if I fit the description to the letter, there's no need for you to go look for another one because he's going to have to look just like I look. And he has to do what I'm doing and beat me doing it. And no man on earth. And again, 
it was another perfect example of how a false prophet move. Now let's get back to the script. Verse 7. If your brother, your own mother's son, or your son or daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your close friend entices you in secret, saying, Come let us worship other gods, whom neither you nor your ancestors have experienced. From among the Elohims of the people around you, either near to you or distant, anywhere from one end of the earth to the other. Do not assent or give heed to any of them. Show no pity or compassion and do not cover up the matter. I got another clip when the nation Yahweh was trying to prove by a shadow of doubt that Hulan Mitchell was Messiah, but he got shut down. Check this snippet out. Sharing and reading. I don't, it's not really a wager, because ain't nothing in this world that's going to change me. You guys feel the same. I ain't here to wait to do but I know I have something that you all will find very interesting, very informative to know. If you're not interested in that, because this ain't no way. Because I can't, you know, ain't no such thing to me. I've been studying it for a long time. And I know that the information that I have is pertinent for you as much as it is has been for me. And if you're interested in making some type of wager, you know what I'm saying? I don't, like I told you, man, I don't do that. So you don't? <laughs> no, I ain't making a wager. They just, you know, <laughs> so, so no, no wager? No. No wager. Then brother, you waste my time. Like, we willing to put everything we believe on the line and not what we believe. Not true. The very Bible holds your hands says prove all things. That's right. Prove all things. The other scriptures say it. The other scriptures say it. Prove it then. Prove it then. Y'all want to hear it? You can laugh at things you want. No, we don't give you time about that. But I'm saying, I know that what I know. And your house. I really would like to know. Would you like to know? Yes. Well, uh, yeah. What's up? Me, the officer of your name. That's what it's about. Who's the Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, you blind me, so with his name. It's his, his, his name, you blind me. Okay. What was his birth name? What was his birth name? Well, That's what I said, it, brother. It, 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 look, look, we ain't look, we gonna but give you all the time you need, We're gonna give you. So I don't know nothing about him, you my bitch. We're gonna give you all the time you need, bro. You can't put y'all in the y'all with that. Basically, 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 as you seen in the snippet, Nation of Yahweh follower playing crazy and stupid like he don't know the name Hula and Mitchell when he know that's that man's name. You got people even, not even finna say that name that he called himself. But anyhow, let's get back to the script and see what Deuteronomy says. We finna finish it out with 10, 11, and 12. 10. But take that person's life. Let your hand be the first to put that person to death, followed by the hand of the rest of the people. Stone that person to death for having sought to make you stray away from your Elohim, Yudei Wahi, who brought you out the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thus, all Israel will hear and be afraid and such evil things will not be done again in your midst 